I was very young, you know, became a Christian. I was brought up in a Christian home. I was uh, the youngest of the family, and my three older sisters were Christians, and my mum and dad were Christians, and as a wee boy, I discovered that I needed to be a Christian as well, and I asked Jesus into my life. Now, I didn't really know what that meant, and it was not until the, much later, when I was 15, that I really asked him, uh, to, to make him Lord of my life after listening to uh, someone preaching in Kilmarnock, I decided that I would live my life for Christ and make him Lord of my life and I really decided that I was not going to live for the world and that was a real commitment at age 15 but I was a Christian from much and much earlier than that. I think the Bible is more than a, just a historical document, but it is that. And I was a history teacher at one time, and I studied history, and the Bible's an amazing book. It, it is a living book, but it's also real history that you can rely on. It's reliable, it's dependable. Uh, take, for example, Luke's Gospel. The writer Luke is very careful to tell us just how much he has researched and he was not an eyewitness himself, but he spoke to eyewitnesses and he got all these facts together and it's, he's a secondary historian, he's gathering all the information together, selecting the information to show that Jesus is the Son of God and he, he talks about how he does that. There's so many other things about the Bible, it's amazing. It was written at different times, by different people, many different authors, and yet there's a theme that runs right all the way through it. That's amazing. And then the other thing that I think about is this, that uh, if it had been a book that was written just by men and if it had not been God's part in it and it's not God's book, it would not have been as honest as it is. Because the Bible doesn't uh, hide things. The great men of the Bible, as you look, apart from Jesus, who was perfect and sinless, but men like David, the flaws come out in the Bible story. And if that had been just a man's book, they would have covered it up. But it's an, on, it's an honest book and so on. And it's it's living, it's powerful. You can rely on it. And it's, it's not like a, a book that you can read, a normal book. This book is still alive and speaking to us today. And that is fantastic. I think the thing about coming to the weekend is that you'll find that we're human. Mm. Uh, uh, I think folk have got a kind of prejudice against churches. Maybe a wee bit of seeing Mr Bean and uh, he, he's singing every second line of the hymn and it was so dull that he fell asleep. I would like you to come along to realise that we at TCF are quite human, quite normal people, very down to earth and we've got a kind of We've got a living faith and our services are lively. So it's, for example, the praise nights and so on, you discover that it's, it's no dull, it, it is something that is living and it is not the kind of traditional image that you would have of a church service.